I'm Peggy Burnett. I teach English. I have taught and participated in the writing uh, at just of just about every um, writing course that we offer. I came to the college in August night on August nineteenth, nineteen seventy four. Um, I was right out of college. Uh, this was the first job I had and the only job I've ever had. I have never done anything but this. Um, I started at the Southwest campus at 132nd and I, um, and uh, I was handed a box of books by Dr. Craig and told that there were six courses that we were going to offer in a month and that my colleague Cliff and I had a month to write the six courses and to um, put them in an individualized format so that those classes could be offered all day every day and students could come in and work on any course they wanted. I was in college at Southern Illinois University. I got my bachelor's in philosophy and psychology and in 1972, and then I had two weeks before I started my master's degree um, in English with an emphasis on teaching at the community college, and uh, then graduated in the spring of 74, and I applied for the job here at Metro and um, I called literally every week for two months asking if they were ready to interview for the faculty position and uh, they kept saying we're not ready, we're not ready, we're not ready and finally I called and said you know I'm going to be driving through Omaha could I have an interview and they said sure so I came and they interviewed me and called me uh, a couple days later and offered me the job and I went out and bought a car and packed it up and came. The people first and foremost and, and, and they're people in every single department. It's not just my wonderful colleagues um, but it's the the dedicated people in student services. It's it's the maintenance people who work so hard to make the campus look beautiful. It's the secretarial support services people who never said no, always were happy to help me with anything I needed. The Julie Nornberg and human resources anytime I ever had a question on any complicated insurance issue gave me thorough and comprehensive answers that simplified something that was like Greek to me. Um, oh my gosh, the the administration, you know, both Randy the president, Tom, Chuck, um, all of them exhibited a, a willingness to listen to faculty, to include faculty, um, the way faculty are treated here um, in such a respectful, inclusive way. And it really, that was, that was at the very beginning, from the very beginning with Dr. Craig and um, others. It was always a sort of a, you felt as if it was a team, as if you were part of something bigger than yourself, um, as if there was a real mission, um, you know, to serve the community. And I think the other thing is that there's, I've always felt as if I was a, a part of a culture that wanted to get it right, wanted to adapt, to serve the needs of the community, to serve the needs of the students, and to serve each other and help each other to do the best that they could do whatever that job they had was. That, that we're a team. That your teacher should be your partner. 
and that um, that they are there to support you, to challenge you, um, and to help you work through whatever issues you might have. I hope that what they remember is that I was able to provide them with the tools that they needed to feel confident and empowered any time they faced a writing task. That's what I hope they remember. I think the greatest challenge is uh, that students' lives are so much more complicated today um, than they were 20 or 30 years ago. Uh, from what I can see, students tend to have less support at home. They tend to be more on their own. Um, and so their financial challenges, their personal challenges, tend to seep into their work. And so helping them to manage those challenges um, is, particularly with the number of developmental students I have, they tend to be at risk um, and for a variety of reasons. And so, uh, I think, you know, helping them really is to manage the challenges they have is what's most challenging uh, because sometimes there just is nothing that you can really do to help them. So that's, I think that's probably the most difficult thing because you want to do everything you can for them. I love to swim. Uh, I love to do flower arrangements. Um, I love to entertain. Uh, I love to read. Um, and for fun, in some ways, this is going to sound crazy, but I love to, you know, research new ways of doing things, um, you know, the contextualizing efforts um, of late. I've spent a lot of time with that, um, you know, and going into new areas. Part of the reason why I have stayed so engaged at the college for so long is because I've had the opportunity to work on so many different projects. Um, in 2005, I worked on overhauling the basic writing curriculum. Um, you know, this most recent project with the Title III grant uh, and creating the advisor training course online. Um, the committees that I've worked on um, have been exciting and, and fun and challenging the issues of retention and persistence um, that I find um, so important, particularly because of the work that I've done with developmental students. Um, so I don't know if that sounds like fun to you, but it has been for me. What's next? Well, uh, believe it or not, I um, got out my old French textbook and I am... Um, I'm going to go back and refresh my um, French skills and uh, do some traveling. And uh, I actually am hoping that um, I might do some work with um, the college on an academic recovery program. Um, but we'll see. That's yet to be determined. Um, so there might be some projects part-time that I would still do. Um, so I've got lots of ideas, but we'll see if, if they come to fruition. 
One of my students, I actually today in, in class told them that they would be my last class and that I hoped that this would be, you know, a celebration of sorts. And one of my students said to me, um, after all these years of teaching, what words of wisdom do you have to, to, part, um, to, to impart to us? And I said, be a consistent studier. That's the most important thing. If you're a consistent studier and you never let things pile up, then you'll stay on top of things and you'll be successful. I'm Peggy Burnett, an English instructor here at Metropolitan Community College.